Hey guys, what is up? Today we are going to be talking about Doom Patrol number eight. It's back! Finally, the return. Uh, Doom Patrol has been plagued by weird delays. Like, first there was a giant hiatus, and then it was this one is delayed like a week or two. Either way, I've missed Doom Patrol, and every time it's gone, I miss it more. And when it finally comes back, I'm instantly reminded why I missed it so much. Uh, this issue is fucking incredible. Not gonna lie, I loved it. I love the character of Lotion the Cat. Uh, for those who don't remember, Lotion was introduced in the first issue of Doom Patrol. It was Casey's cat that escaped when they blew the hole in the wall. Spoilers, but if you're watching the review for issue 8, you should know this already. Yeah, so Lotion is back and is now, uh, as you can see, some humanoid cat creature thing. Uh, punk rock to the core. And uh, pretty awesome. A very kind of stereotypical punk kid embodied in a cat. It's awesome. The character is incredible. I don't know why I love it so much, but quickly has become one of my favorite comic book characters. I love the design. I love the look. Nick Darrington throughout this issue kills it on art. There is one panel I adore where it's Ricardo and Fug uh, working in a projector. And it's just Fug. Thumbs up in the back, clicking buttons. But it's amazing. There's so much detail and love put in every panel. Yeah, so the main story is Lotion's back. They're trying to get Casey to move back into Danny because Danny is weak because of all the crazy shenanigans that have happened <coughs> recently. Uh, yeah, it's mind-blowing and great. You also have Terry Nunn kind of making more of an impact in the book and making her character arc a little bit more known. You have a lot of different puzzle pieces coming together. This is... The start really feels like the start of this arc. Of course, issue seven was kind of a filler, a really fun filler, a really great one, but more of a filler of what was going on with Niles. This is back to the crew, back to the people. We're adding more. We're also seeing more of Samson and his family after the effect of the Jane Colt. We're seeing his kid and what that dude is up to. It's all great. Uh, I know I've run out of compliments to give this book, but if you're not reading Doom Patrol, you really should be, by every means. It's, in my opinion, the best book coming out today. Let me know what you thought of this issue below. Did you love it as much as me? Did you think it was a bit of a letdown? Is it weaker? Is it great? Is it horrible? Leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. Tell me what you're, where you want to see Lotion go. I'm really interested. They <laughs> took the character in some weird places this issue where I didn't expect. Uh, I won't spoil it, but yeah. I'm curious about that. Uh... <laughs> I can't say more without spoiling it. I'm for it right now, and uh, it's so weird, and I love it for that. <laughs> we'll see where it goes. So yeah, uh, tell me what you think below. I will see you guys in another of your video very shortly. Thank you guys for watching and supporting. Uh, go read Doom Patrol right now. It's amazing. And if you can, get that awesome James O'Barr cover, because James O'Barr deserves it. Uh, Nick, they're in the cover incredible, too. You can't go wrong. Go get it.